Smellies. Thanks for joining me today. On my channel today, we're gonna make mushroom wraps. Mushroom wraps are a really easy, meatless Monday dinner option for those of you who are trying to cut back on animal products, which I totally understand. And these mushroom wraps do not leave you hanging. They bring the flavor. <laughs> I hope you enjoy my version of mushroom wraps. In advance, I'm just gonna let you know, it seems like there's a lot of ingredients necessary, but a lot of these already live in your pantry. Hopefully, half the work is done. So what you're gonna do first, you're gonna soak your black Chinese mushrooms. If you don't have access to them, go ahead and use portobello mushrooms. You can use white mushrooms any mushroom that you have that you can find at the grocery store. If they're fresh, then obviously you don't need to soak them. I filled my pan with a knob of butter, the sliced mushrooms after they've soaked for probably an hour minimum. Sometimes you can even leave them overnight in the fridge. And I've also chopped up some tofu skins, which is the film that's left over from tofu making. We're gonna take these mushrooms and we're gonna add a ton of fresh flavor in the form of chives. Chinese chives are the very best oniony, garlicky flavor on the planet. If you can find Chinese chives at the grocery store, I highly suggest you get them and you add them to every savory dish that you're gonna cook that week. It will change your life. My mother gave me a pot of Chinese chives growing in my garden. And I have three kinds of chives in the backyard, French chives, regular green onions, like American green onions, and the Chinese chives. And let me tell you, the Chinese chives are the most overachieving plant out there. Every time I cut it down to the, the very bottom stem, it grows back within two weeks while the other two pots of green onions have barely grown a couple of inches. I decided to get fancy today and use my garlic press to press out two cloves of garlic. I have a tendency to add lots of flavor to my filling, my mushroom vegetarian filling, knowing that it's gonna be wrapped in a lettuce. Iceberg lettuce generally doesn't bring much to the table besides crunchy texture. So the filling is what needs to stand on its own. But feel free to add tofu. If you feel like making this into a meaty dish, add ground meat, ground chicken, ground turkey, ground beef, ground pork. You can even add fried tofu, which is delicious. Really, the options are endless. Beans, sweet potato, all of these veggies, and ingredients can be easily wrapped in a lettuce leaf and it's a hearty and beautiful way to get all your nutrients and fiber in. I went ahead and added chopped cilantro. I think that's enough greens for the day. But if you have jalapeno or green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, go ahead and add those in too. Well, any vegetable cooked in butter, there's really no way it could be bad, right? Don't the flecks of green covering each mushroom slice make it look so pretty and tempting? And the smell, the smell of the garlic frying in the butter is just so intoxicating. Your children will dig into this mushroom dish 
and not even know that there's no meat in it. They will like it that much. <laughs> and lastly, I like to add white sesame seeds, which is an extra pack of protein. Protein, protein, protein. If you know where that comes from, please let me know in the comment section. If you are a fan of this person as much as I am. Now lastly, I'm going to show you how I prepare the lettuce so that there are little cups, they're not too big, not intimidating to manipulate and fill and wrap and eat. I put a bunch of lettuce leaves onto a plate in the middle of the table and we all help ourselves. You don't even need to spin dry your lettuce. Maybe if you have company coming over, you want to spin dry it, but I don't know. In Vietnamese households, wet lettuce is not a big deal, especially if you're eating lettuce cups. So for my sauce, this is my go-to sauce. Sambal chili, soy sauce, a little bit of sesame oil, Sometimes I add a little bit of sugar to sweeten it up. Whatever I'm feeling that day is what I add to the mix. It's a simple, sweet, salty, spicy addition to your chopped mushroom mix. So I've grabbed the perfect lettuce cup. I'm gonna show you how I eat mine. I put probably a teaspoon, a little bit of white jasmine rice, a bit of stir fried mushroom into my roll. And I'm gonna wrap it up very gently like a taco. Essentially this is a low carb taco, if it weren't for the rice. <laughs> just dunk it slightly in my sauce and just munch away. It is really delicious. Mushroom vegetarian food can be very delicious if you know how to prepare it. I hope you enjoyed my version of a vegetarian dish. I hope to see you next time. Share in the comment section what you like to have on your meatless Monday dinners. Take care, Swillies. Bye.